This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. My name is Becky. This is Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. I'm here to give you everything that you need to hear in the world of entertainment. Please stick with me. I'll be back. All right. If you just joined me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz. My name is Becky. Today, let's start with Wendy Shea. Yes, uh, she apparently has uh, seen Christ. That was a very long time ago. Not like too long. And she's been having a conversation with Lexus Bill on Joy FM about spirituality. And she also touched on uh, what uh, Moesha has been going through. Let's listen to Wendy Shea grateful you know like i keep i keep actually talking about my relationship with god and um, i'm not gonna stop like you know i have i have found a, a, a higher spirit that um really nourishes my soul and my mind every time and um as an artist i, I need a higher being or a higher spirit to give me that energy because i always give the energy out to other people to my mm. fans so i need a, a you know a replenishing and you understand and knowing christ doesn't take just one day it takes a long time mm. sometimes um for you to get that tight relationship with him you have to go through a lot you need to go through some kind of punishment and um and the bible says punishment and and discipline right for you to um he does that to his children and those he's called for a purpose discovering things about yourself yeah. uh, do you generally understand things of the spirit M mo I'm, 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 i mean i'm i'm getting to know more but at least yeah. i know bef than i used to yeah you understand no I i'm keep, asking be yeah. i'm asking that because i i think one of the trending topics is our very own sister moesha right. who's going through something that is also sort of like you're saying she's discovering yes, yes, a yes, certain yes, light yes. she's having a spiritual awakening i've it's, been through i've been through a spiritual spiritual awakening mm. and like I said yet yeah, I've come to understand a lot of things in the spiritual realms what I can say is that it can be very true that she has found the light and you know it's not easy getting out of darkness into light mm -hmm. you need to fa you will face a lot of challenges you will face a lot of opposition you know because the devil wouldn't want to give up um, on on his on his servants or slaves that yeah. easily you know imagine you've had someone working for you very very good has been working everything you want the person to do the person has been doing it for you and the person comes and tells you you know i found a new master i want to leave i don't think you let that person go easily yeah meanwhile wendy shay says that she is so grateful to god for how far uh he's brought her throughout her musical journey hey, initially when i came into the industry um because i didn't understand how things you know goes on here I was a bit confused, but after, you know, I got on track, nothing bothers me. Nothing bothers you. Are you happy with how far you've come in the industry, though? I am grateful. I am very grateful to God and to, to my supporters and to my team. Yes, I am. Mm. Do you think that Ghanaians have accepted you wholly now, fully, your kind of music, your persona? I'll say they've come to understand me. They've come to understand my sound and um, seeing my identity. Mm. You have any regrets? No. None at all. No, no, not at all. I, everything that happened in my life had to happen because I've come to understand that it was a setup from yeah. God. You know, it was everything I had to endure and go through. It, he planned everything out. So, yes. Let's move away from Sakode. Let's talk more music. This time around, let's talk uh, more choral music. We don't, you know, always talk about choral music, but I mean, it's always a pleasure, James, to have you to talk uh, choral music. The last time you were here, we launched uh, some uh, finals or champion something, something championship. The African Choral and Gospel Championship. Championship, and it happened here yes, in Ghana. In, yeah, in November. In, in November. Uh, this time around, I heard that you guys are taking the championship to uh, all the way South Africa. Yes. Um, yes. I mean, t t tell me all about the, it. The African Choral and Gospel Championship. It's a platform for African musicians, mm. and uh, uh, that includes even Africans in the diaspora. Mm. And uh, we are just uniting the continent through music and um, cultural tourism as well. Mm. And uh, we, as you rightly said, we launched it here in November last year. Yeah. 
where a lot of people come in from all over the continent to this location. This time around, we are taking it further. So this will be the first championship uh, being staged in South Africa in November from the 22nd to 29th in uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. So, so why South Africa? Okay. Um, one, it's the first edition, and um, the championship is such that we have different um, uh, parts playing into um, the organization. And basically, especially with um, the use of auditorium, we need a lot of uh, facilities. And um, we think South Africa is better played Please. in terms of facilities for the championship because uh, it involves about 10 holes at a time. Mm. And uh, so we are, even though we are building things like that in Accra, and I am hopeful that in a few years we'll come back to Ghana. South Africa is better place for this edition than all, all the countries in Africa. Mm. What will be, uh, what what will be like the difference between what's happening in South Africa with what has happened, you know, before? Uh, okay. So far as uh, uh, choral music is concerned, okay. and this is not just about choral music. Mm. It's choral music and gospel music. And gospel music. And, okay. Uh, so this one also has a competition aspect. Mm. That just like the world choir games. Um, but also provides a platform for concerts. Mm. There are so many artists, great choirs, great ensembles um, over the continent, which no one promotes because there's not a platform for them. We are always waiting for a platform made by Europeans to participate. Mm. I say, no, we are going to create our own platform. So we are putting the whole of Africa together through music. And so this one will give our choirs and groups who register the platform to stage concerts in South Africa, mm. not just competitions. Okay, okay. So we have the competition bit and we have the uh, concert bit, bit as well as tourism. Wow. Yeah. So, so how many choirs have you know registered so far, um, and so far how many from, of them are we expecting? Okay. So far, from Ghana alone, we have um, about ten choirs. Okay. Uh, completing the registration. Okay. From other West African countries, we have a few choirs on board. South Africa choirs will dominate as well because they are hosting. hosting. And, uh, it's not much expensive for them to participate. Okay. But most of them will stay in their homes and then just participate. Unlike we that are coming from other parts of the continent who have to come by flights and other things. Mm. And, uh, ours is quite expensive. But it's about time the African learns how to invest in tourism. Tourism. Mm. So how, how do we participate or how do choirs out there participate? Uh, check us out on uh, African CGC, African CGC. So you go to our Facebook, African Choral and Gospel Championship. Mm. You will see our registration links. You can follow to register. You can register as a choir, a gospel group, and some will be the sample, at least from a, a number of eight to mm. about 50. Mm. And you can also register in the soloist competition. There's a soloist, a soloist competition that runs like a, a reality show. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll be doing, we'll be dropping people from day one, day two, and then we'll do the finals on, on, the, on the third day. Do we have a time timeline for 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 this? Registration, registration ends on the thirty first of this month. Okay. Yes. So we don't have time. We don't have time. Mm. I think I fall I fall under the observer's part. So uh, for those of you who want to join me observe, uh, you're welcome to do so. Uh, this will thank you so much, you know, for, for coming through and we hope that a lot of people uh, will join this and have a feel of what choral music and obviously gospel music um, is in South Africa. We're going all the way to South Africa. So uh, just, you know, bear that in mind. Uh, that'll be all for Showbiz. Let's talk Showbiz here on Joy News on your multi-TV channel. My name is Becky. It has been the Friday edition of your favorite show.